Hey, Internet and Melly, it's Casey with 25 and 52, and today I'm at the park. So, I think you never really know how many people you know or how many friends you have until like two months before you're gonna leave all of them. Um, I have the busiest week socially this week that I've had in a long time. I have plans literally um, every day except for Wednesday in the next seven days. Seven? I can count sometimes. So, I had dinner this evening at Tommy's on Coventry with my friend Libby, and then there was a dinner on Tuesday, and a different thing on Thursday, and a different thing on Friday, and hanging out with Casey on Saturday, and seeing Rochelle probably on Sunday, and it's going to be really exciting. Um, but, so the reason I'm at this park is half because I was out here anyway, uh, on Coventry at Tommy's and half because I was thinking about swings and I thought that here might be a good place to talk about swings. Um, I was thinking about swings uh, because I was remembering being a little kid and you know I'd get on the swings and I'd swing as high as I could and I'd jump off and there would be that moment where I wasn't in the swing anymore and I hadn't quite started to fall yet and so I was just up in the air and totally free. And so... So, I think I've told you that I think that my life right now feels like what I imagine jumping out of a plane feels like. Um, and I've been describing it as the moment before you jump, where you're, you're not quite there yet, but um, you're holding on to the edges like, oh my god, I can't do this. But maybe it's not that. Maybe it's that moment, like right when you first jump, before you quite realize that you're falling. Like when you jump off of a swing, and there's a moment where you're not quite falling yet. And this feeling is like freedom. Um, so, you know, when stuff at work gets really stressful, or when people are being jerks, I'm just like, eh, none of that matters, I'm leaving. And even though all the preparation stuff is really stressful, that none of this matters, I'm leaving, is actually really fun. Um, something that's true about me, that I think you know about me, is that I tend to be an excessively cautious individual. I, um, I plan and I'm scared and I worry about what people think about me and I'm not feeling really like that's something that matters right now. Um, I'm not feeling like I have to care what people think. Um, of course there's some really good practice in that in doing these videos in public. I tell you, um, all of the teenagers hanging out in this park certainly think that I'm a weird lady, and I am a weird lady. But I think one of the things that I'm really loving about where I am in my life, and I don't know if this is a moving thing or if this is just something that I've finally realized, but I don't have the time to worry about what other people are doing or, does so-and-so like me? Nah. Don't care. No time for that. I have people to see and stuff to do and a life to live and I feel free in a way that I don't think I've ever felt before. So that's this week and I'm going to be really busy and I'm going to try to take some video of some of the things I do this week. I tried to get Libby to be in my video but she didn't have anything to say so we'll see if anyone else does. Um, Cleveland friends, if you want to hang out with me, be in this video blog, whatever, let me know. Melly, I'll see you in August, but I'll see your face on the internet on Thursday. This is half of a heart. I love you. Bye. So, 
I drove home and I saw how beautiful my city looks tonight and I got sad um, and then I thought for a minute and I realized that the feeling I'm having is letting go this has been my home for the past eight years it's where I created this version of myself and like the three versions of me before this one it's home and it'll always be important but I'm letting go because sometimes you have to but look how pretty it is <laughs>